Hello and welcome to Chabot News for March 11, 2015. I'm Jacqueline. In today's news, we'll have the latest Hayward hit and runs. Diana will bring us the 90 celebrity turned spiritual guru and Zoolander 2. And Gabriella has the latest on Tiger Woods new venture and the LA Stadium project. All that and more on Chabot News. But first, the University of Oklahoma's president expelled two students Tuesday after he said they were identified as leaders of a racist chant captured on video during a fraternity event. The video posted online several people on a bus participated in a chant that included racial slur, referenced lynching and indicated black students would never be admitted to OU's chapter of Sigma Alpha Epsilon. The university president acted swiftly after the video surfaced late Sunday, severing ties with the fraternity and ordering its house shuttered Monday and announcing the expulsion Tuesday. The university is working to identify other students involved in the chant who may also face discipline. <clears throat> Hayward, police say a 15-year-old girl was grabbed by a man as she walked home from school Friday afternoon. Police say the girl was walking on Whitman Street when she spotted a man standing next to a white four-door sedan. As she passed, police say the man assaulted her. The suspect is described as a white male, adult, 20s, tan complexion with a scruffy short beard. The teenager said he was five foot six, six inches tall with square prescription glasses and hazel eyes. He was wearing a gray shirt, black knee length shorts, orange athletic socks and sandals. Police say the car was possibly a newer model Honda Civic with paper plates. The description matches an assailant in another attempting kidnapping of a teenage girl in Hayward on February 20th. An Oakland artist an Oakland artist who crafted jewelry was killed in a hit and run crash while she was walking to her studio on Saturday, according to a loved one. The accident happened at approximately 2.20 p.m. on the 800 block at Pine Street in West Oakland. Police say the driver of the car abandoned the vehicle and fled the scene of the collision. Witnesses said it appears the driver of the car jumped the curb and drove on the sidewalk for about a half a block before crashing into a metal fence. Howe was, a sh was also hit and pronounced dead at the scene. Pol Oakland police do not have a description of the suspect on the car involved in the collision. Anyone with information is asked to call Oakland police. Pedestrians struck by a hit and run driver in Hayward Wednesday night has died of his injuries, police said. A vehicle struck the 50-year-old Hayward resident while he was walking in a parking garage of a large industrial complex at Whitten Avenue. On his way to work, police said another driver came across the man lying on the pavement. He was taken to the hospital but died Thursday. Police are looking for a vehicle that sustained front bumper and hood damage and possible damage to the windshield and side windows. Anyone with information about the collision has been asked to contact Hayward Police. Two female tourists from California have been cited by police in Rome for carving their initial into a wall at the city's ancient Colosseum and then taking a selfie to record the vandalism. A tour guide spotted the vandalism and called police, who questioned the pair before citing them for aggravated damage to a building of historic or artistic interest. The women were not identified in the reports, and it was not immediately clear whether they would have to pay a fine. And here's Diana with entertainment. Any good 90s kids knows that there are a handful of totally cheesy movies from that era that will always hold a special place in our hearts. Camp Nowhere and 10 Things I Hate About You are two said flicks, and they both have one thing in common, Andrew Keegan. He now lives in Venice and is the co-owner of a non-denominational spiritual community center called Full Circle. The actual theology of the group is tough to pin down, but it seems to loosely follow Hinduism, or at least Russell Brand's Sanskrit tattoo version of it. Sunday services begin with intention setting, followed by a group chanted, we love you to each congregant, not just Andrew. Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson surprised audiences at the Valentino Fashion Show to hit the runway and announce the long-awaited sequel. They also made all our dreams come true by blue stealing with none other than Anna Wintour. 
Details are still rolling in about the second installment of the comedy, but we do, not, we do know that Stiller will return as director. Justin Thurox wrote the screenplay, and both Penelope Cruz and Carly Kloss have reportedly signed on to co-star. The flick isn't set for release until 2016, so for the time being, Zoolander fans will have to settle for using their imaginations when it comes to hints about the plot. Thank you, and back to you, Jacqueline. Investigators on Tuesday recovered all 10 bodies from a remote site in Argentina, where helicopters serving a reality TV show collided, killing prominent French athletes and leaving the European nation in mourning. The helicopters came down about 50 feet apart and were completely destroyed. One of the aircraft was so charred that only the blades were recognizable. Among the dead were Olympic champion swimmer Camille Muffet, Olympic boxer and bronze medalist Alexis Vastine and pioneer sailor Florence Arthob. They have been among the contestants in the reality TV show Dropped. Here's Gabriella with our sports update. Professional golfer Tiger Woods will open his first restaurant in Florida later this spring. News about Woods Jupiter Sports and Dining Club first broke last year. Golf Magazine spilled more details in its later, latest issue the name, while clunky, was chosen for a very specific reason. Developer Nicholas Mastroni II reveals that Woods was not allowed to use his first name with his last name in the restaurant name because Nike has the rights to the name Tiger Woods. Apparently, any time Mastroni wants to use Woods' name in a press release or marketing material, he needs permission from Woods' business people. Farmers Field had a prime location in downtown Los Angeles. Big Time Boosters, a builder with an impeccable professional sports resume, even a name and sponsor, rare for a project in the planning stages. What it did not have was a, an NFL team attached, and in the end, that was all that mattered. Just months after, it was late, the latest greatest hope for bringing the NFL back to the city for the first time in 20 years, the stadium project was declared dead by its developer AEG on Monday. The announcement leaves two clear contenders for the NFL's return to the area for the first time in two decades, both in cities just outside Los Angeles. In a stadium Inglewood proposed in January with the backing of St. Louis Rams owner Stan Kroenke and a project in Carson announced last month that with the joint backing of the Oakland Raiders and the San Diego Chargers. That was your sports update. It's all yours, Jacqueline. Thanks, Gabriella. And now to our final story of the week. An endangered 500-pound leatherback sea turtle was being treated at a South Carolina aquarium on Monday after wildlife officials made a rare rescue of the reptile found alive and stranded on a remote beach. It is the first living leatherback turtle to be recovered in South Carolina and one of only a handful ever treated at a rehabilitation facility in the United States. It took five people nearly four hours to retrieve the turtle from the beach. Wildlife officials think the turtle they found is a young female that may have eaten debris, shell, or a plastic bag mistaken for a jellyfish. Leatherbacks do poorly in captivity, so they, the rescue turtle will be released after receiving treatment for a few days. That's it for Chabot News this week. Thanks to all the students and staff in the Mass Communications Department here at Chabot College for making this production possible. You can watch us anytime online at ChabotTV.com. Stay tuned to KCTH 27 on Comcast for more Chabot News.